They're yeah. going to crucify you for something no matter what. So if you feel like you maybe said something that was on the line, you're not entirely sure, and you think maybe if you apologize it'll go away, remember, they went after Sarah Silverman, Lena Dunham, Aziz Ansari, Trudeau, Chris Evans. You haven't got a shot. Jump in the waters where we will always be here yeah. defending you and advocating against cancel culture. <laughs> So uh, let's move on to this segment here. The top five examples of SJWs, or just let's just call them leftists now, because I think yeah, SJW enough. is a flagged word on YouTube. NPC. Yeah, it is. Yeah, if you put SJW on YouTube, NPC. you're immediately demonetized. Yeah. So let's use this as a jumping off point. SNL, they dropped a new cast member, Shane Gillis, right? If yep. you haven't followed this, yep. we'll talk about it with Gavin next. Uh, this was following some social media outrage based on some jokes. They said he wouldn't be joining the cast. Jokes. And uh, his comments were, quote, offensive, hurtful, unacceptable to the Asian community, proving once again, that Charlie can't take a joke. Bill can. No, 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 no. You actually know that no Asians were offended by the jokes, right? It was really? just white people yeah. wearing on hemp hats on behalf yeah. of yes. Asians because yeah. all the Asians were laughing. Right, yeah. The white it, was, it was a guy from uh, Vox or Vice or whoever it was who does the spoken bird poetry. But, you know, it's good to know that <laughs> SNL... Spoken that's bird. not a joke. Spoken, no. spoken bo- bird poetry. <laughs> good thing to know, though, that SNL draw, draws the line at Asian jokes. Joining us now are three peasant laborers from the factory in China where these iPhones were manufactured. Oh, you upset with bug? Too many bug in phone, yeah. I sleep in communal bunk bed with hundreds stranger. Lice are Okay, best so it's just one I racist guess. Asian Horrible. stereotype. Oh. oh, there's two of them. Oh, it's not even one good. One time, shooting in line 21 lice. day for baby formula. Yeah. Formula. You know food to feed baby. You so, know that? so, so very similar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, I actually thought the sketch was funny. I thought mm. the sketch was funny. Yeah. That's 2014, just so you know. It's not like we, not long, we have to dig back through ago. and go back to right. Rob Schneider or have to go back to <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's 2014. Sorry, it was the 70s. That's basically the last cast member who was replaced by the other black female cast member who was replaced by the other black female cast member. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just a never a woman of color. I, I think we do need to make sure to appropriately punish all of the audience members who laughed yes. uh, at that joke I in 2014. Thought, uh, he said it was I funny. I thought it was a funny sketch. Yeah. Okay, by I the way, not. for those who missed it, here's the controversial clip from the person they asked in, in question so you can see it. Damn, Chinatown's fucking nuts. It's crazy, dude. It is full fucking China. Dude, it's yeah. fucking Chinese down there. I wonder how that started. They just built one fucked up looking building and people were like, well, all right, no one said anything. Let's fucking chicks live there, huh? <laughs> Jesus. That's about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit difficult. It's not a big wow. deal. I mean, it's it's not. I don't think it's funny. But no, it's not. Still, but that wasn't not necessarily the joke. It was not offensive. offensive. You know? But here's here's the, this isn't an isolated incident. The mob is going to come after comics, celebrities, politicians, yes. regardless of how woke they are. And that's why I want to cycle through five examples of the most woke people we can think of, leftist folks yes. who then had the crocodiles turn on them. So, uh, example number five: Sarah Silverman. This is important. After yeah. Kevin Hart, remember, he was fired from the uh, Oscars yep. for yep. his homophobic tweets that they dug through. Right. She didn't come to his defense. Not Instead, she said that she was done making gay jokes, and she likened the use of the word gay to racism. I'm done with that. Yeah. I think I can find other ways to be funny. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I used to say gay all the time. That's yet to be proven. So gay. We're from Boston. We're like, find you a know, way. That's what you say in Boston. I have gay friends. I just say gay. And then I heard myself, and I realized I was like the guy who said, what? I say colored. I have colored friends. Isn't it always great that this revelation comes after they've made their tens of millions of dollars? Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. It's well, let me convenient. retire here to right. my Beverly Hills mansion and think about what I've done during a 97-hour spot. I could treatment. find other ways. Now. Everything was everything was a, a shock comic joke right. until she did Wreck It Ralph, and I was like, I just now I'm now I get it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now I understand. I, I have, I have an awakening. As she the, paints her nails gold. Now and that I, I sleep on a bed of million dollars bills. But he's a, <laughs> this is, it's crazy to me that some any comedians, any comedians are doing this at all. Yeah. Of course they should be, whether they agree with it or not, they should be championing free speech. That's what's so concerning to me. This is a shock comic who climbed the ladder and then pulled it up. Yep. And is now yeah. pelting other comedians with paintballs. I guess, I don't know what she would use. She was not gonna have a gun. No, that's no, definitely no, not gonna happen. Not happen. a gun. It's a Nerf gun. And so what happened? she found herself being canceled for doing a skit in blackface. Here's her talking about it. I recently was gonna do a movie, two days on a movie, a really a sweet part in a cool little movie. And then at 11 p.m. the night before, they fired me because they saw Woo-hoo. that pi- a picture of me in blackface from that episode. Surprise, Listen, I'm not RBF. that person anymore. But I was doing it. You know, I didn't go to a, a f- and Halloween party in the 80s in blackface, I was doing an episode about race. 
you know, now I understand it's never okay and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> By the way, we are going to get to our number one spot is the most woke person you can think of who did go in blackface, not once, mm, but twice. Right. I don't think she should have been canceled or punished at no, all. The at blackface all. sketch was no. about a girl who was tone deaf doing blackface to impress black people. I thought it was right. a funny sketch. Right. I think Sarah Silverman uh, can be very funny at times, and I am not advocating for her to be canceled at all. No. I am pointing out the standard by which they want to be judged. Yeah. I think conservatives need to be really careful about this. We shouldn't be advocating that anyone else get canceled. No. We should be pointing out their standards, but then we should be defending them and championing their right to do these things, to say these things, and not be canceled. And I'm not just talking about First Amendment. You know, we talk about this all the time. Right. First Amendment, obviously, is government, no right. government yeah. infringement. But we are talking about a culture right now of yeah. bullying people into yeah. silence. Canceled. And that oh, yeah. is just as important. Okay, example number four. This might surprise you. Lena Dunham. Uh, you know, I've talked uh, about it. Her dad draws uh, anger uh, vaginas. Um, she's the creator. HBO, the woke series girls, uh, right? Uh, and so also bad. noted survivor of condoms and potted plants. <laughs> She's, a, she's effectively the SJW <laughs> so feminist archetype, right? She yeah. won awards for support of the LGBTQ community. She campaigned for Obama and Clinton. Yeah. Uh, she pledged to move to Canada if Trump won. If only. Spoiler alert, she didn't. Ugh, and she particularly made a big deal out of activism to fight sexual assault. Uh, she talked about being raped by a guy named Barry, the resident Republican yeah. at her college. And uh, then she did this whole PSA, I think. Do we have a clip? Yeah. PSA about sexual assault. Yeah. yeah. And one in four girls will be sexually abused before the age of 18. This isn't a secret. But not it's the one on the far reality. left. So why is our default reaction as a society to disbelieve or to silence or to shame? By the way, it's important to note, remember they did the uh, the one in five women are raped. Right. And they said yeah. one in four women are raped. And they said, well, one in four women are sexually assaulted. It's not true. No. It's not a true totally number. Totally debunked. If you look at the Bureau of Justice, if you look at the FBI statistics, yeah. uh, it's, it's, just, it's just not factually accurate. It so, is a number, though. And Does by the way, her rape story was a hoax. Out. And the editors of her memoir actually had to change the book after threats of legal action. Yes. So there's the argument in the court of public opinion, and then there's, all right, we have to pull it when it gets legal. Right. By the way, in that same <laughs> book, vivid descriptions of sexually abusing her little sister. Yeah. Okay. Including spreading Horrible. her sister. Yeah. If you have kids, leave the room. Spreading her sister's vagina open when she was 11, or she, her sister was 11 and she yeah. was 17. Ugh. Bribing her with, with candy to kiss her on the lips, masturbating in bed next to her. This is That's Lena Dunham's own words. She wrote, anything a sexual predator might do to woo a small suburban girl, I was trying. So I guess in this, it's not so much cancel culture as it is sick, twisted, handsy, older wow. sister yeah. culture. This just shows you where the priorities are, the cancel movement. Yeah. They didn't care about that. They cared about her hypocrisy on the Me Too movement, right? So right. this producer of the show Girls was accused of raping a 17-year-old girl. And yeah. then Lena Dunham responded, without any evidence that the girl was lying. This is her, her statement. While our first instinct is to listen to every woman's story, because what? you demanded that they do, our <laughs> insider knowledge of Murray's situation makes us confident that sadly this accusation is one of the 3% of assault cases oh, that are misreported oh. every year. First off, it's not only 3% that are misreported or misreported. false rape allegations, and you didn't run an investigation. They're bitching about the Kavanaugh investigation, which was right. as thorough as you could possibly make it right. because someone sent something to the FBI at some point that wasn't corroborated, and she's going, even though this guy was a accused of rape, we don't think he did. Really, why not? Yeah. He said no? <laughs> and by the way, this is what finally led to the social justice warriors calling yeah. for Dunham's cancellation. Oh, it's hard oh, not to be happy about this example. I'm generally, no, I am generally against That's cancel torn. culture, but you know, I, I'm also against raping sisters. Yeah. Number three, Chris Evans. Chris Evans is about as woke as you can get for a white guy. Geez. He's called Donald Trump a racist. Yeah. He's been headlining LGBTQ IAIP events uh, to pushing abortion without any restrictions whatsoever. Oh uh, which, which, by the way, uh, should be completely out of line, considering the penis. I thought it was no uterus, no opinion. Oh, like, yeah, hey, that's hey, true. You know, we support I thought abortion. that was the logic. Bring your c right in, sir. <laughs> That's okay, we'll hit the censor button. So him and his co-star, Jeremy Renner, they made the mistake of calling Black Widow, referring to Black Widow, a fictional character, mind you, yes. as a slut. She's with, she's with Bruce. What, did, what do you guys make of that? She's a slut. <laughs> I was gonna say something along that line. Oh my God. <laughs> what a trick, man. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's actually kind of funny. It is funny. Yeah. It's funny. Like they're, talking about a, they're talking about a cartoon character. Yes. 
Yeah. And like we've talked about Black Widow, laughing by the way. is an involuntary action. Yeah. yeah. He thought that was funny. Genuinely. So when it's not this, when we talk about gender is societally conditioned, no. Telling someone that they shouldn't find something that's taboo or offensive funny, that's your attempt at social engineering. Right. He yeah. laughed. That's a guttural response. That is, this is funny. And you yeah. want to tell him that his emotive reaction is wrong. And of course, he apologized. Evan's apology was, we answered oh in a very gosh. juvenile, offensive way that rightfully angered some fans. I regret it. And I sincerely apologize. I'm sorry that this tasteless joke about a fictional character offended anyone. Uh, Example number two, uh, Aziz Ansari. So he should be an a expert, by the way, in navigating the whole yeah. woke male-female relations. Yeah, he, if well. you, he was the little brown feminist that could. <laughs> You're a feminist if you go to a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert and you're not like, mm, I feel like Beyonce should get 23% less money than Jay-Z. Uh, also, I don't Wrong. think Beyonce should have the right to vote. Wrong. I don't know anyone who says that. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I know gay guys mm -hmm. who use the term Queen Bee. And then I knew yeah. a guy, so I only close. found that out, I That's found true. out that, you know how I found out the term Queen Bee was a thing? Because I heard a bunch of gay guys say mm -hmm. Queen Bee. And then I heard a guy who claimed he was straight say Queen Bee. And mm -hmm. I said, no. Wow. No, no, I know. It turns out he was gay. Um, well, yeah, you your go. gadar was. Yeah, on. I don't have any other proof other than he said Queen Bee, but I'd bet my life. <laughs> that's good enough. Take a look. Yeah, that's good enough. He also wrote, by the way, as he's sorry, he wrote this sort of postmodern book on romantic relationships, right? And uh, what did he do? This, they come for him too. He committed the unforgivable crime of going on a date with a girl that didn't go so well. Uh, so, for those of you whoops. who are confused, bad date is now a synonym for sexual misconduct. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Keep in mind, we're not, we're not advocating for casual sex here or no. promiscuity where the conservatives no, 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 no. were mocked for advocating abstinence until marriage. But ladies, let me just say this, okay? If you're going to a guy's apartment, okay, and you strip down to nothing and you start engaging in sex, I, I don't want to say that you're asking for it, but that's because, only because you're already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you asked yeah. for it, you act. got it, you were doing it, and then you didn't want it. Oh like Chance gosh. in Homeward Bound with the Porcupine. I don't want it! I don't want it! Yeah. And by the way, I think that guys who specifically target women who are drunk, especially if they're sober, are germs. You should stay away from them. But it was not yeah. that kind of a scenario. I want to be really clear here, too. I don't think that Aziz Ansari should be canceled. I'm right. not advocating no. that for any of these people. But they will come for you. Okay, example number one. This one is just too good. I love good. this one. Oh, yes. So, uh, it's one of my favorite people. The darling of the left. <laughs> Prime Minister oh, yeah. of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Remember, this is the guy who broke down in tears, apologizing to the two-spirit <laughs> two community. Two-spirit right. community. I didn't even, like, I didn't know it was a real, I thought it was a Halloween store. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. April Fool's in October. <laughs> two-spirit. <laughs> So everyone does have skeletons in their closet, spirit. even the guy who apologizes to the two-spirit community. Um, but yesterday, Time Magazine, or earlier this week, they dropped the funniest story of all time. <laughs> oh my picture God. of him <laughs> attending a party. In Rome. That's Wait. Justin Trudeau. Right. That's just <laughs> no <laughs> way. That is awesome. I mean, that is very, I mean, it's technically brown face, yes. but that's black face. But he's dressed Let's in all white. It's hilarious. That's a I tube of it. kiwi shoe polish. We all know exactly <laughs> it's a brilliant what is happening. Oh it was a, a mocha, I Lots think, was contrast. the actual color. Was that nice. the color? Yeah, yeah. mocha. Well, that's also something, Spicy by the way, mocha. we talk about black. Indians, especially South Indians, can be yeah. far darker than, than black people. So it's not, a, it's not an accurate descriptor. It's true. I just want to be true. clear about it. It's that. racist. Actually. Keep in mind, this is important. I'm not advocate. I don't think he should lose his reelection. But no. Megyn Kelly for that. Based was on this. fired, canceled, <laughs> for merely suggesting that someone doing blackface back in the day might not have been inherently racist. So right. I want to contrast yeah. the comments that got Megyn Kelly canceled, let's juxtapose that, with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's apology. Here you go. Truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on yes, black face yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. No, you don't. Like, white face is fine. I, that, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do, and I am deeply sorry. Was Wait. that the only time in your life you've ever done something like that? Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Dale. <laughs> Wait, 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 Dale. Wait, 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 there's more? Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, Looks no. like the Mars Volta. Get oh a fro God. on. The man, oh he didn't just, he didn't just dabble in blackface. He was positively a blackface connoisseur. <laughs> just so happy. You can also see on his face it. when this story broke and they're asking those questions. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know that it was racist back then, but now I understand. And he's sitting there, he thinks it's over, and then someone says, yes, excuse me. Is this, is this the only time? And you can see in his head, he's going, <laughs> I've got an answer for this. I think this is important to note. A lot of people say, well, you know what? I'm not. I, 
I'm not Alex Jones, right? That was one yeah. they tried yeah. to, when they canceled Alex Jones. And this is one thing I just realized: we're kind of the only program to have endured an yeah. all-out assault to be deplatformed. Yeah. Because Look you went they did back with, after them hard. Well, they they did it with with Milo. They did it with Alex Jones. They've yeah. done it with other. I mean, they've done it with people obviously who are not Gavin. conservatives. They did it obviously. Right. They went after Gavin. I think he's still available on YouTube. We'll talk with him about that. Um, we didn't apologize because I didn't do anything wrong. We doubled down. We didn't just go back. And, and by the way, conservatives, don't, don't just complain and say, look, they're trying to censor me. No. Come back funnier and harder. Do not apologize yeah. Yeah. if you haven't done anything wrong. Andrew Breitbart, he said, apologize for what? They're yeah. going to crucify you for something no matter what. So if you feel like you maybe said something that was on the line, you're not entirely sure, and you think maybe if you apologize it'll go away, remember, they went after Sarah Silverman, Lena Dunham, Aziz Ansari, Trudeau, Chris Evans. You haven't got a shot. None of you have a shot. They right. will go after you yeah. no matter what. And I want to make sure that everyone out there, because we've seen a lot of comedians who used to fancy themselves liberals who have now come to the other side yeah, of the oh, fence yeah. just because of this cancel culture, while well, there are still some other comedians saying it's not a real thing like Andy. Andy Kindler. He said, it's not a real thing. BS. Really? Yes. Okay. I bet you we'll be talking with him in about six months. <laughs> yeah. when they he'll go he'll out be on the list. He'll be a top six. Row. Jump in the waters. Warm. We will always be here yeah. defending you and advocating against cancel culture because I don't want to see it happen to anybody. And then I'll see you on the other side of that cage uh, with your policies, which I think are stupid and uh, those should be canceled. <laughs> Oh, did you like this video? Subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. There were videos playing in boxes, but I was just enjoying my pipe. And this pipe was actually purchased through your support at Mug Club, because we don't make any money off of YouTube. LighterEarthCutter.com slash Mug Club. Not only do you get access to the entire Blaze catalog, this wonderful hand-etched mug, but hours of content that you don't get to see or find or search here on YouTube. In other words, if you want the show to continue, you, you, you join Mug Club. And then I'll expand my pipe collection. Ha, ha, ha.